What's going on everyone, Ralph here, and today I am back on the vlog. That's why you see me in my patrol uniform. I'm gonna be riding in Model City at our North District substation. Today I'm gonna be riding with Officer Antonio Gomez, who just got off of FTO. FTO was your four months with a field training officer, and then you go solo. So right now I'm at our central station. I'm gonna jump on 95. We're gonna ride about 10 minutes north, get off on 62nd Street, and head to the North Station. Let's go. Alright guys, so now I'm in the parking lot of our North District substation. I'm going to introduce you guys to Officer Gomez. My name is Officer Gomez. I've been with the department about a year and I'm on my second week of solo. Alright, so Officer Gomez, I noticed that you came out of this truck right here. Well, where's your patrol car? I haven't gotten one yet. Oh. They're waiting for it. That's right. So when you are on solo, on your solo months, when you just get off a field training program, you don't take your car home yet. So you come to the station, park in your personal vehicle, get the keys, switch it out, and jump in your patrol car. So you gotta go get the keys, right? I gotta go get the keys. He's gotta change out his camera, and let's go get that stuff done now, right before roll call. So we got the keys to the car, he's docked his camera. Now it's about 1.40, roll call's at 2 p.m. We're waiting for roll call to start. Once it does, um, the sergeants will go in, give everyone their assignments, get everyone their unit numbers, and then we'll be on the street. So see you guys out there. All right, so Gomez, what's your routine like once you, uh, we like just got out of roll call right now. So what's your routine once you finish roll call, get in the car, what's the first thing you do? So the first thing I do is uh, I go put gas, and then after that I go get some water, use the bathroom, and then get ready for, for a call. This is just back to look uh three weeks ago I called you guys five times. Last week four times. Okay. This week and that's all for the same gentleman? So what is it? When you come outside, he just doesn't like anybody out yes. in the front? I'm going to tell you something. Okay. As you can tell, there was some type of disturbance here. Officer Rodriguez was here before we got here. I'm going to have him break it down to you guys of what exactly was going on. All right, so basically we got dispatch. Um, Reference a verbal dispute between two tenants. We're always getting dispatched over here for loud music, arguments, and all of that stuff. So we just came here before it turned into uh, to something physical. All right, so a lot of time we get dispatched to these type of calls where neighbor dispute or a verbal dispute where we just kind of got to come, calm things down, make everyone go inside, and, you know, continue their days peacefully. Hopefully, we don't got to come back out here. So this, like I said, this is Officer Rodriguez. You're in Model City, right? Model City. So he's part of Officer Gomez's crew out here in Model City. We're going to be out here throughout the day, so I'm sure we'll be seeing more of his face. So we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Sir. What did you do before you became a cop? Uh, I was a baseball player. I played at St. Thomas University for a couple of years. And then uh, decided to stop playing and become a cop. And how are you liking it so far? I love it. Um, I do love helping others. I love uh, inspiring others as well. What's your favorite part so far of the job? My favorite part is probably uh, responding to calls and making people happy with doing my job. So whenever 
whenever you respond to a scene of a vehicle accident such as this, um, main priority, first responsibility is to make sure everyone's okay. Rescue needs to respond and make sure they attend to everyone. Now you have to do the report. You have to get the story from each person that's on the scene. If there's any independent witness, they can tell you what happened. Because at the end of the day, you're going to have to decide who is at fault in the accident. So as you notice, officers usually come together, help each other out, find out all the circumstances leading up to that accident, and come to their conclusion. So Officer Gomez, from what I remember, your uh, second month, the second month of FTO, he was involved in an incident where he received the Silver Life Saving Award for saving someone's life. So what is it exactly that happened? So basically, um, this gentleman was hanging off of a bridge. Um, he had a mental uh, situation where he was saying that he was just tired of everyone following him. And uh, we, uh, we ended up dispatching a CIT unit. to talk to the gentleman and the gentleman started easing off and started like going towards towards pushing himself off the bridge into the water and a couple of us officers reached for his hands and grabbed him and we ended up pulling him to safety um, and then took him to the hospital. A delicate rescue for Miami police. They responded to help a man who was threatening to jump from the MacArthur Causeway moments on the MacArthur Causeway after Miami police say this man is threatening to jump and end his life. Chilling video shows him dangling from the railing. Police body cam video shows officers surrounding the man. This officer says she's there to help, crouching down and speaking to him. Once they've talked, other officers make their move. After reassuring him they'll keep him safe, they pull the man back over the railing. Another view shows just how dangerous the situation is. So that's one thing that always crosses your mind when you become a law enforcement officer, that the day may come where you have the chance to save someone's life. Um, and his career happened very early on. There's incidents that happen throughout the city all the time where officers step into action and save people's life on a daily basis. Some we hear about, some we don't hear about. But at the end of the day, it's why you become a cop. And props to all my brothers and sisters in blue that are doing amazing work. We're back in the car, so as you guys can see, there was more than enough officers there. Uh, Gomez, what did we have? So basically, we had a call with fire rescue with lights and sirens. Um, it was a three-month-old baby apparently choking. Um, as you can see, it was okay. Uh, fire rescue did their job, and everything came out good. So good news. You know, sometimes fire rescue uh, gets a call, and we'll respond emergency, see whoever gets there first, especially something involving an infant, a three-month-old. Thankfully, they got there. We're able to take care of it, and everyone's okay. All right, guys, so the shift is over. I want to say thank you to Officer Gomez for letting thank us you for having me. ride along with him today. We'll catch up with him sometime in the future. For now, this vlog's over. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. And I believe he's been on the road on his own for about. And I believe he's been on his own. So do I say it from there? Or do I have to say the whole thing? I've been in the apartment for a year. Don't be nervous. <laughs> My second week on the street. <laughs> 1121, I'll show you 15 with you in it. It's gonna be a 25 audible. Alright, whenever you're ready. This is a wide angle?
Everything's all good right now. Um, that was terrible. I hate being put out on the spot. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Usually getting dispatched. Oh, I, I can, I can, I can. Alright, you're good. You're, you're good up to there. You're good up to there. Turn around, it's crazy, bro. Turn around and wait. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought about it. I thought about it for do a second. Do it, do it. No, do it. Do it. Wait, 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 wait. You red. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. You already took red. Turn left. Turn right. You're a beautiful man. Plenty and many. There's many other instances. There's many other instances. I sound like a broken record. There's many. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta stop. I gotta stop.